the connection with nature, it kind of confirms that we are nature, not apart from it. We are life itself, right? We're not separate from it. Absolutely. We are all connected. That's exactly what it means. We're not separate. And we can tune into them just as they can tune into me. I mean, and nobody escapes going through difficulties in life. I mean, we all have things that we go through because, let's face it, the only way we're going to move and shift, excuse me, you know, if they, if they push us out of our comfort zone a little bit. So true. So true, Sharon. That's how you learn. So Just push us along a little bit. Doesn't have to be a whole lot. I mean, there's a lot of people that are really open and grateful. So when something does come along, they will generally jump on board and then they, they, they may struggle with it for a short period of time, but they'll get through it. Other people struggle with things longer because they don't have that ability to get out of that three-dimensional thinking. Right. Or they might be pushing away, right, the feeling. Right. Or they're in fear or they're in that blame game. It's their fault. It's my parents' fault. It's my sister's fault. It's somebody's fault. It's never their fault. What motivates you to be a good person, to do good in the world, trying to help people? Well, I have to say that the, more than anything else, two things, I guess, the animal kingdom really inspires me. I mean, you see some really dreadful things done to animals. I mean, dreadful. They come to a human being, somebody will take to them and will help them, nurse them back to help. They've been really brutalized and injured or whatever. And they just forget all about it and love, 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 love. All over the place. Love, love, love that human being. And love other human beings. They don't hold anything. And I think that's what inspires me. I love to see that, and, and it's for that reason, I think, that I use the gentle demeanor, the soft, I don't want to say lecture, but soft conversation with someone to help them come around on their own terms, lightly, so they're not frightened. I have to say, I think animals are the thing for me. When you think about it, dolphins, whales, they will go to the death. Some species of whales, dolphins for sure. If you are in the water, if there's a human being in the water and there's a shark approaching, a dolphin will fight. A dolphin is one of the few mammals that can kill a shark. It will kill the shark in protecting the human being. It will fight to the death. So I just, I don't know, cats and dogs is the same way. They can tell when someone's energy is sad or nasty. So I've always been kind of an observer of people, of animals, since I was a little kid, how people react to people, how they act with people, with each other. So I think, you know, what inspires me most is a gentle approach that animals have with human beings.